Hello guys, my name is Fidian, I'm definitely not sick at the moment, and I welcome you to the 7th episode of the Trash Farm Podcast. Today we have uh, a upcoming YouTuber, I would say, uh, his name is Hampa. Say hi. Yo. Yeah, so uh, he has been recently uh, blowing up uh, in on YouTube. He has about 4,000 subscribers, but his, well, his view count is uh, impressively high, I should rather say. We'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably talk about it, yeah. Uh, I'm view botting. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Hump exposed? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, how are you? I should probably ask first. About me? No, well... How are you? How are you feeling? Aha, That's... yeah, I'm good. I just had a big ass pizza, so I'm a little bit tired, but yeah. A I'm big good. ass <laughs> pizza. Oh. Yeah, man. But what pizza was it? Um it was I think it's pepperoni, minced meat, onion, some like green spicy shit and uh, some kebab sauce, like the white white sauce, you know. That's it. Bussing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a weird pizza, but you know, fair, fair. At least, at least yeah, it's that's, that's at least tradition in Sweden. We just have a lot of shit, random shit on the pizza. <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least it's better than pineapple on a pizza. Okay. Yeah, you, that's popular in Sweden as well. We have fucking pineapple banana curry chicken pizzas here, <laughs> so people like that. Not me though. <laughs> don't cancel, you don't cancel me for that. <laughs> okay. Pineapple and pizza, okay, fine. But fucking banana, are you fucking serious? Yeah, that's some Swedes. Sweden is fucking weird, man. <laughs> How did you get into the Isaac community, Hampa? Uh, it's a bit different to, so, to some people because it was a very, very long time ago. I was like... Maybe 11 or 12, sitting on my dad's computer, looking at Newgrounds, if you know that the website. Yeah, yeah. It was basically, for those who don't know, you uploaded like Flash games and Flash animations and everyone could play them. And on Newgrounds, Edmund had uploaded a demo of Isaac, which I found there. Uh, and I played that demo to death. I really loved it. And uh, when I got my first own computer which was like a super shitty macbook basically i uh, i cracked the game and uh, how could you how could you do that F motherfucker <laughs> I, okay I you, you know what you know what C cracking cracking uh, products of big companies is fine okay listen, not, listen, not listen, everybody listen. not everybody not everybody has 60 fucking euro to spend, okay? I'm talking about Adobe, of course. But but the moment when you crack a game of an yeah, indie listen. death, you're you're a fucking disgrace. I agree, dude. I agree. But listen, I was like 12 years old. Okay, <laughs> fair like enough. Fair old. enough. <laughs> fair enough. You were stupid so enough I to. Played... Okay, you know yes, what? Yes, you were you were stupid. You were stupid enough to uh, to for you to uh, excuse it. Okay, yeah. Yes. Continue. So I played. Uh... Flash Isaac and the Wrath of the Lamb to death, and I mean to death. I, it was like the only game I played on the when I had it. And uh, then I guess I took a break because you don't play the same game every like every <laughs> single waking hour of the day. So I think I took a, a short break, and then Rebirth came out. I played that a lot. And then I think what was the first DLC called with Green? Afterbirth. Yeah, that came out. I played that to death as well. But then I basically quit the game for like five years. I played it last in like 2015, 16, I think. So I didn't play Afterbirth Plus. That time I had a giant like break with the game. In that time though, I started to play like Ge Geometry Dash and then I played like Osu and stuff. And in 2021, when Repentance came out, it was this year, right? Yeah. It... Yes. Uh, I saw some videos on it on YouTube, I think. And the way I found it, Repentance. Uh, so, I, 
I'm a huge fan of, of this game called Noita. I, I played it a lot. Mm-hmm. And I saw a video of a certain Norwegian man making a video on it called Albino. Some mm-hmm. of you yeah. might know him. Uh, I really liked that video, so I checked out his Twitch channel, and he played Binding of Isaac, and I was like, "Aha, uh-huh, this looks uh, a lot different," and uh, I wondered why. So I checked out the Steam page, and you s- I saw that there was a new expansion called Repentance. I was like, "Oh shit!" They made a different version of every single character. This is like the coolest shit ever. So I download, I uh, bought it, downloaded it, and I've played it the last couple of months. Basically, the only thing I've played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's so much fun. I really love it. Yeah. So uh, that's basically my history with Isaac. Yeah, I I do also. Uh, my uh, okay. When you when you said that your story was a bit different to others, uh, that 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 was actually wrong. A lot of people actually started with Flash Isaac yeah, and then moved with Rebirth. Yeah, but I think not a lot of people played the version on like new grounds. <laughs> maybe I'm not sure. Maybe people did. Yeah, but Who most. Knows? Yeah, but most people. <laughs> most people started with Flash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. True. I I wasn't like that. Uh, the first Battle of Isaac I've ever like watched was a let's play of well, a I, small I've YouTuber. A lot of- all other channels, but when I got into it now, it was mostly from Albino. I've I've watched like Northern Line in the past and stuff. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I wasn't too big into the game at that time. I was like thirteen when I first saw the game for my small YouTuber. I was I thought like okay, cool, cool game, and then I basically forgot it for about five to six years. And then I re- rediscovered that uh, small YouTuber again, and you know, remembered the game. I was like, okay, yeah, uh, maybe I should play this. This looks like fun. So, I, so I like you know, bought the original game first because I didn't have money for the DLC at the time, and I started playing. Right, and I got into it. I was like, fifty six hours in. And I loved the game, right? So I so I saved up for uh, the DLCs and just bought bought all of them straight, uh, building up to pendants. Actually, if you look at my YouTube channel, I actually have one video still from uh, OG Isaac from Rebirth. Like Flash? No, from Rebirth with no uh-huh. DLC. Actually, yeah. actually, fun fact, I actually plan to make a video playing Flash Isaac for the first time. But I would also like to try that again. It, I swear yeah. it was like eight years since I played it last. Yeah, it, 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 was, um, actually, it was actually like 50 cents during the uh, autumn sales. It was, oh su- it was super cheap, yeah. <laughs> So uh, at, at I've been, I've at been too it busy was, to check yeah. the Steam sale. <laughs> yeah, I, so you kind of believe passed. it or not, I haven't bought anything on the Steam sale. I actually bought a lot of games during that, so I feel kind of proud of myself. What but, did you buy, man? Uh, I bought Sims Four just to make videos okay, on it. Okay. Uh, I then, <coughs> I then bought uh, some smaller indie games. Uh, there was there was a game called uh, Seeing, if I remember correctly. Hmm. It was the uh, it was a short game about this uh, little boy, a little crime crime boy. I know it sounds a lot similar to <laughs> Isaac, but let's let's not discuss that. Uh, basically, the game was about uh, about the boy. Uh, uh, basically, you controlled the boy, right? And you were like collecting determination. You were like supposed to get to uh, some white glowing doors that lead to like heaven, I suppose. I don't know what the metaphor exactly was. And during and during the trip, you were like uh, getting 
blue points, which is like determination. Sounds like Undertale. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. It it does not. It does not. It does not look like Undertale in any sing, in any single way. But you know, it was short. It took me like an hour to finish. It was like seven cents, and uh, yeah, I did enjoy the game. I liked the art style. Nice. And uh, oh yeah, I, I also bought hand hand down the Freeman. <laughs> oh, is that the? Yeah, it's it's the fucking the um, YouTuber game. Yeah, it's the YouTuber game. Yeah, uh -huh. I did. I, I I've, I've only seen like the thumbnails and shit. I haven't watched on any videos on it, but I think I know it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played that game yet, but I plan to do it soon. Uh -huh. And and then there were like two other games that I forgot that I buy that I bought. I will have to check my Steam library in order to do that. But I'm recording a podcast, so I can't do that exactly. <laughs> yes. Uh, you you mentioned that you like uh, got into uploading videos through Albino. Uh. Not exactly, but I got into Isaac again from watching his videos. Ah. I've been uploading videos to YouTube since I was like 12. Uh -huh. On different channels and on this current channel I have, but they're unlisted. Yeah. But uh, it was only recently that the channel uh, just took off. Yeah. Uh, why did you start uploading on that channel? Uh, on this channel, uh, let's see, I basically uploaded like super random shit like shit posts and basically uh like it was like a speed run of an old swedish flash game mm -hmm. and like shit like that super random stuff uh and after that i uh, i made another channel dedicated to geometry dash mm -hmm. and i uploaded on that for like a year when i was playing that and I, then I went back to this channel, which I'm now uploading Isaac on, and I I played a lot of Osu, so I uploaded my replays for a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, like, when I got into Isaac again, was also the same time when my friend showed me the shadow play, it's called, if you know what it is. You can basically press a short commando. And uh, you save the last five minutes of what you did. So basically, when something funny happened, I just clipped it. Basically, I could just clip it. Mm -hmm. So, like the first three videos you can see on my channel is called Isaac How, like Painted Isaac School Bag, and the Fifteen Luck One. Those are all clips I just took randomly when I was playing, and I uploaded them. And uh, I had a lot of shit like uploaded in between them. But those three videos, especially the ice tainted Isaac Schoolbag one, they just popped off randomly. I had no idea why they did, but they just did. So uh, I was like, okay, I have to capitalize on this somehow. So I unlisted everything because I was like, yeah, let's make this an Isaac channel, fuck it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I really liked the game and I was like, yeah, fuck it. Uh, and uh, before I started uploading like seriously, I studied a lot of big YouTubers, like their tricks and shit. Uh, one of my bigger inspirations is called Beluga, actually. You might have seen him. He does like Discord skits. Uh, I got inspired by him by like making like quick edits and pretty short videos and very simple thumbnails so you can see instantly what happens. Um, and I also took some inspiration from the likes of Dream and Mr. Beast, actually. Weird, weird stuff to be using in an Isaac channel, but that's how I do it. Uh, I really like to have uh, some sort of, what's it called? I usually try to show in the beginning some sort of stakes. Like in, you see in my Twitch, it's called like how you get Twitch VIP in one second, that video. In the beginning, someone uh, tells me in chat, like, if you win this lost run, I'm going to donate a subscription on Twitch. I try to show that in the beginning so people will be like, aha, I wonder what happens. So they watch the entire video. Uh, so, yeah, that's some things I've thought about while uploading. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, that's basic my YouTube journey so far. Yeah, yeah. What what's your favorite video out of all that are publicly available? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, I'm the most thankful for the painted Isaac school bag video because I mean, it basically started this channel. <laughs> But it's probably not my favorite. If I would say, I think it's, uh, let's see here. I think it's my latest video, actually. I, I think I've just gotten better at editing every single video. So I, I really like my latest video. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. Editing, editing videos can be actually a lot of fun. If yeah, you, I really if you, I if really you, you have you have uh, ideas for how <laughs> for how you want to edit them and shit. I think that's yeah. like yeah. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite mod and why? Oh, my favorite mod. Um like currently I'm just trying to get all of the achievements in the game, so I'm not playing with super many mods, like, like I'm just playing with the Pog mod and the Explanation mods and like some fun mods, like the Reverb fart and shit. Uh, but I really like the Explanations mod, they have put a lot of effort into it to just make a really nice to have mod, I must say. Uh, it's a little boring answer, but <laughs> I, I really like it. Uh, you mean the external description mod? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I do also like that mod. Yeah. Like yeah, me not too. not only does it explain shit, you also get the like spin down dice shit. You know, it shows what you get from the spin down dice, and you get you used to get tainted canes uh, crafting recipes uh, and stuff like that. It's it's just so much effort put into it. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you don't like remembering shit, then uh, I guess it's <laughs> it's a good mod, yeah. My favorite mod has to be a uh, uh, good trip, I guess. Uh, it's basically a mod where there's a second minimap, and you can click on cleared rooms that you've like already cleared, and you can teleport to that room. So you can teleport oh. from like one map. Like Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon. Yeah. Oh. I, yeah. I, I really like it because it saves a lot of time yeah. doing monotonous tasks. Sounds really nice. Yeah, yeah. It also, ki it also kind of saved me a couple of uh, boss rush and harsh entrances. So... Oh, I see. Yeah. So, you can traverse quickly over the map, you have a bit of a higher chance to uh, to get into boss rush and the hush floor. Okay. I might look into mods more after I've uh, maybe not gotten dead god, but have, having gotten at least like all of the non-tainted characters completion marks. I want to play a little more, more vanilla before yeah. I start looking into mods. Yeah, I do get that, yeah. I don't have a lot of uh, gameplay changing mods. It's more, you know, quality of life mods. Yeah. I, I don't really like gameplay changing because it changes the the way uh, the, the original developers uh, developed the game, their philosophy, for example. But stuff like graphical mods or uh, quality of life mods, I think that those are okay, and I do use them uh, actively. Yes. The only time I use like uh, um, mechanics changing mods is when I'm just fucking around in the game trying to find something broken. Yeah, just for fun. Yeah. Yeah, Other than that, I have my quality of life mods when I'm trying to unlock shit, and that's it. Yeah, that's basically exactly how I do it. <laughs> uh, have you played any other games than Isaac? 
Yes, of course. I've played games since I was born, basically. I was basically born in the... I worded sea. it wrong. <laughs> I... What did you mean? Uh, have you been playing other games other than Isaac? But uh -huh, somebody mean... put this fucking... <sighs> okay, so... You mean like recently? Okay. Yes, uh, recently. Yeah, also oh. recently. Uh... Uh, to be fair, that's my fault that I wrote the question that way. But <laughs> you know, I uh, I forgot to write down context. But you know, um, well, okay, but, yeah. Have you? Uh, uh, where, where are you playing other games than Isaac from recent times? Uh, well, recently. I've not played that much else than Isaac because I've spent a lot of time like editing videos and uh, when I'm, let's see, when I'm uh, not editing videos and don't play Isaac, I basically like study YouTube and try to understand how it works, like how to make videos explode more and shit like that. So. I've basically powered gamed YouTube and played a lot of Isaac in the in the recent months. But I have been playing a little bit of Kenshi, if you guys know that game. It's mm, it's pretty it's win, pretty yeah. like uh, niche, so <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I doubt haven't of heard of it, yeah. Yeah, you but, might yeah. let's see. But you act you actually mentioned Geometer Dash. Yes. Uh, I actually used to play that game as a as a kid. A, like. Oh, nice man. Yeah, I got like. What's your hardest demon, bro? I don't remember. I, I think it was oh, like shit. a me. I, I think it was like a medium demon. That's all okay. I've got. That's all. I'm Listen to this. Say. My yeah. hardest demon was Cataclysm. I was. Holy shit! Sweat. Yeah, bro. I, you I were, like you were fucking sweating that, bro. What the yeah, fuck? I, I was like skipping school to play you match that issue, but it was real bad. <laughs> Bruh. I have <laughs> like, uh, you don't want to check my Steam page. I have a little too many hours on that game. <laughs> the, the, most, the most hours I have on a game is like, at least on Steam. I, I'm not counting Geometry Dash because most of the time I spend playing on mobile. Oh okay. Yeah, I don't have I don't have data on that, but the most hours I put into a game that I have on Steam was is actually Payday 2. I actually also used to mm -hmm. make content on uh other games before Isaac. Uh, I think I've played a little bit of Payday. When I played it, I, I remember thinking, this isn't a heist game, this is more like a zombie wave shooter. <laughs> like oh yeah, oh yeah, game. it is, it is the, it, it does definitely feel that way. And there, there, yeah. there is a ma, there is a mode in that game where you're literally holding out from waves of cops. Oh so my god. So it's literally like zombies that are just going uh, along with the comparison but oh i re just remembered another game i i've not been playing it a lot recently but i'm super hyped because there's a lot of news going around it it's risk of rain 2 oh uh, yeah I, i've heard of that game yeah oh is it good it? Yeah. yeah it's uh yeah I, I would say it's top three games of all time it's mm. so good it's definitely one of the best roguelikes yeah and uh w what the news was is that they are uh, when it comes to a game, they drop like updates, not a lot. It, it's very far between the updates, and now they're gonna drop a huge DLC, which I'm super hyped for. Oh! So uh, I haven't played it a lot recently, but I've been talking about it a lot with my friends and shit. So that's one game like I'm I'm hyped about at least. Yeah. Well, getting back to my history of playing games. I actually yes. used to make content on Geometry Dash, uh, DDLC mods, Doki Doki Literature Club mods, and Payday 2. All of those I, I unlisted on my channel. So. Yeah, did you like grow out of the videos? 
or how you should say it. Uh, I, I, I grew out of uh, the games themselves. Okay. Ju- yeah, with Geometry Dash, uh, there was actually some sort of drama that mm-hmm. really, uh, really like scared me uh, about, you know, uh, repercussions. Basically, to explain, uh, I was I was friends with a with an eighteen year old guy from Germany uh, okay. that had a seventeen year old girlfriend. Uh, okay. And and then, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you probably know where this is going. And then we found out that uh, they both decided to have sex. Oh no no no! Yeah, and and then his parents and the police found out. So I was like super scared about you know being found out that I knew about this. Yeah, that's the human so, <laughs> community, all right. Yeah, and then I well, left. Listen, I didn't take part a lot of the community. Actually, I, w- I was just playing the game and uploading videos. I was never in like any discords or shit. So the only reason why I stopped playing because it was because I found other games I wanted to play. Yeah. So I didn't know about all of the like dramas and shit until just recently when I saw some videos. I mean, on it. I mean, the drama that I mentioned was actually pretty small scale. It didn't go that far, or it, it isn't community known but it's mm-hmm. still <laughs> it's still you know struck me uh, okay. because I was just I was still a kid you know I was I didn't know what, what what the reality of the things would be uh, then there then there's DDLC I actually got into the modding community of Doki Doki Literature Club so what are the mods about uh, it it honestly ranges, like. Is it mo- just like inspired fan games, basically? They are, they are basically fan fix, yeah, turn into okay. mods, yeah. Uh, most of the mods are uh around dating a certain girl, obviously. Oh, of course. <laughs> obviously, but there are but there are like certain exceptions which I really like and should be explore, explored more. I actually also tried to do my own mod, uh, a murder mystery, not a fucking romance. But <laughs> but the reason as to why I scrapped it and left the DDLC modding community or the DDLC community as a whole was because there was so much fucking drama going on there. Ma- oh, I hate ma- drama. Mainly, mainly with exposing pedos. Over the time that I was I like, yeah, over the time that I spent there over one year, there were like seven or eight pedos exposed, including oh the God. head admin of the modern community. That's the Why same you... problem I had with the Undertale community. Really? And oh, really? Also, a lot of people were extremely toxic. Like, they'd make fun of you for pretty much anything. Your OC and shit like that. Like, they were not a nice community at all. Oh my god, so unnecessary. And like, finally, somebody started bullying me over and over, and I just had enough. I left the community, and I never went back. Oh my god, it should be the people like that that get, like, outcasted, and not the people that get bullied. The sad thing is, Undertale is my most favorite game of all time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why is it not Isaac? (laughs) Hey, hey, hey. Actually, to be fair, my favorites are tied between Terraria, Isaac, and Undertale. They're basically neck and neck. Okay, fair enough. Joy is redeemed. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Hampa, ha- have you ever thought about getting into modding? The uh, modding like Isaac? Modes? Yeah. Um, I have not a single clue how to make a mod, so. <laughs> I, also, uh, I don't know. Don't, I also don't have a clue, but. I will be asking this every but, single but, YouTuber. But yeah. Something that's like at least parallel to this question is that. 
I have a really small Discord server that I started a couple of weeks ago, and some people have joined it. And there was a guy that made a mod with, like, you know, my my profile picture, the like the white paint guy with glasses. Mm-hmm. He modded it so that Isaac's like character model just was completely white, but with that face. <laughs> so there has come some mod mod out of my that's YouTube channel. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's super fucking cool. I'm gonna send you like a tweet that I tweeted. I uh, used a picture so you can see how it looks. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna send it in chat yeah. So you can see. One of my fans actually, actually, you know, uh, actually, uh, also said that if he had the coding capabilities, he would actually, uh, code me, code me as a person into the game, as a character, so. What would be your, your powers? Um, uh, uh. Probably screaming, because you know, because you know, loud equals funny for some reason. At least that's what I've heard from my fans. I actually, I actually also have a small Discord server. It has like, it has like thirty-five members, so it's really small. But you know, it's it's still a Discord well, server. Thirty-five people is still thirty-five people. You know, if you look like a. You look at a classroom, it's like 20 people, so it's more than a classroom. Yeah, I mean like... There's a lot of people. I actually used to have another server <clears throat> back when I was uploading the DLC content that had, at its peak, uh, around 70. So... Oh, shit. Yeah, so I'm like halfway <laughs> into You'll getting... you get there, man. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, uh... As for getting into modding myself, I don't really have an interest in that. I more, I more so want to exploit the fact that there are mods and upload videos on them, because you know, ma, because you know, more videos equals uh, more chances at getting into the algorithm. So. Oh, yeah. So using other people's work in order to get famous is probably the best strategy out there. <laughs> yeah, the thing with YouTube is like you can't get into the algor- algorithm from the beginning. You have to start with people getting your to your channel some other way, like by making a guide or something that people search up, uh, or maybe using someone other's name. But then you can start learning how the algorithm works and like try to pop off that way yeah so, which, is, which is also part of why i started this podcast so i so i can feel so i can feel com- completely fine with putting <laughs> popular people you know with putting celebrity names into into name into titles of my videos man listen <laughs> i'm just a guy playing isaac and uploading videos i have i haven't even thought of myself as like a Celebrity, I used okay. to think it's crazy. People watch my videos, but uh, I mean, yeah. I'm just a okay. regular guy. I, 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 I mean, I got nervous when you asked me to be on a podcast. So, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with it. <laughs> just post yeah. my name everywhere if you want. <laughs> yeah, to be to be in... <laughs> okay. To be honest, I use celebrity as a generalization. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, for the end. Yeah. Pop quiz. Who all have we had on the podcast? Oh, okay. Pop quiz. Um, we had the developer of the Rebecca mod, uh, Jude Ingertail. Then we had uh, Shui McClure. Then we have the Tynish the Devs. Uh, Mr. Seems Good. Chemic Hat. Ipecac Devs. And now it's you, Hampa. I'm sorry to say I don't think I've heard of any of them. <laughs> uh, that's, I don't watch, I don't watch yeah. Isaac that much on YouTube. Yeah, it's fine. But you know, hey, <laughs> uh, we got we got you. So I do. Rem- so I, okay, I do remember all of the names, at least for now. <laughs> nice, you're a yep. good host. Yeah. Um, 
What is your favorite character, Hampa? Ooh. I'm gonna have to go with the Lost and the Tainted Lost. Easy. Interesting. I really, really love playing as them. Uh, because when you play as the Lost, it's always like high octane action. You can start from the get go, fly from the get go, so you can just. It's like high tempo, you don't have to stop on rocks. You can just fly over everything. Um, you start with spectral tears, so yeah, you're, you're just gonna be blazing through the first floors. And the first devil deal, most characters maybe want to chill on that devil deal, so because of their low health, but the lost can just take it instantly, so it's a big damage boost on the second floor, <clears throat> which is al always guaranteed. And you have the Eternal D6, which is basically the regular D6, but even more, even more gambling. <laughs> so that's a fun item. Um, and it's always, it's also the perfect character for YouTube content. Since when you get hit uh, and uh, you're without, without the mantle, people are going to be looking like, oh, is he going to die? Is he going to die? Is he going to die? So I enjoy him, he's good for the YouTube content, and yeah, I think that's why it's my favorite. And the Tainted Lost, he's not as fun, but he has some things that make him a lot of fun still. I really like that he has a damage modifier and he like only gets offensive items. So his runs cascade into like god run, damage runs, like really fast. But you die as him super easy as well. So it's like giga high risk, giga high reward. That's also really fun. So those are probably my two favorites. Oh yeah, I can totally understand that. Yeah. I do think that <laughs> I do think that the last is a fun character by himself because you don't have to worry about health. You just have to, you know, dodge. Which isn't always the which I'm not always the best at. To be entirely honest, I have a very big skill issue, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not that good at the game uh, as well. I have 640 hours, but I don't have 400 achievements yet. <laughs> I've played so much, but I'm, I'm not even close to finishing like all the characters. Yeah, uh, I actually have 300. So... Yo. Yeah. The... The last sixty hours was the was in the last two weeks, so you can you can see that I'm quite addicted oh, to the okay. game. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Uh, as for my favorite characters, um, I'm actually <laughs> <coughs> I'm actually sort of toying on that one. The most marks that I have. Uh, is with Kane at the Kane. moment. Yeah, he's a really nice character. Yeah, I he has shit range, obviously, but he has some good starting damage. He has, yeah. uh, he has, and uh, his speed, speed. Yeah, uh, I, really, speed. I, I think speed is an underrated stat in Isaac. I really like having really high speed. Yeah, yeah, it certainly makes the game a lot faster. Yeah. Uh, I have marks with, well, almost all the marks with all the characters except for Bethany, Jacob Nisau, and the Tainted characters. And I don't oh. have uh, the Beast or the uh, or uh, Mother marks for the main characters. What do you guys think about Jacob and Nisau? Uh, that's actually, like, one of our questions. <laughs> yeah, that's actually oh. one of our questions. Uh, I, I have this sort of... Stockholm syndrome to those characters because I because I promised on Twitter and on, and uh, to my fans that I would become the best GKMS our player. So oh my god, you really hate yourself, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh my I god. sent him a video the other day to make it kind of manageable. Yeah, I doubt he's watched it yet, but I sent it to him. Well, this is my Some opinion above. on them at least is that. They have a lot of things that are cool about them, I think. 
Uh, I really like that you can do the double bombs, so you can basically one-shot every single boss up to a certain floor. That's really, really, really nice. And you have really nice early game DPS because it's two characters shooting. But, and there, it's a huge but, you can't, some rooms are just impossible to not take damage in. Uh, which is super painful. So, the thing with Jacob and Isa is that they're super annoying for me to play, but they have like all of the coolest unlocks. So, so you kind of have to play as them in order yeah. to have in order to have a uh, good good runs afterwards. Yes, I really really wanted up to unlock uh, the mokels, You know, the the knife hanging over your character. Isn't is uh isn't that the the lamb one? I think uh, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's the lamb with Jacob and Isa. Yes. Uh, I really wanted to unlock that before doing Tainted Lost because I would really like to get that item on the Tainted Lost sometime. Yeah. Uh, and when I was going for it, I just figured, yeah, fuck it, I'll just do every single mark on Jacob and Isa. And I did, and I hate myself now. It's, oh my god, it's so painful playing as them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's my basically my opinion on them. They're they're ne unnecessary. They're necessary to play, but it's really annoying. I mean, I'm literally part of the Jacob and Esau uh, hate group in Based. Play X C two's server. So <laughs> based. Sad. So I'm so I'm the only one that actually sort of likes Jacob and Esau. Yes. Okay. I sort of like them. I just don't like Tainted Jacob. Tainted... I have never tried Tainted Jacob, actually. <laughs> I actually did it for my first uh, Binding of Isaac uh, playthrough on my channel. And I hated oh. myself. I think that Tainted Jacob is... I think I think it's also like, it looks fun. It pretty a... fun. Yeah. Like that you can shoot him away at shit and like kill stuff. It's it a lot harder than it looks, though. Yeah, yeah, probably, is, but it still <laughs> looks kind of fun. <laughs> it is harder than than it looks. Yeah, well, but I've tr I've tried him. I sh I still think that he that he can be fun if you learn how to like properly dodge Esau, dodge Esau. Uh, back to favorite characters. Uh, I guess yes. I have to say Kane since I have the most mics with him. Oh, and he got super buffed in Repentance as well. Yeah, because... Uh, you know, because, in, yeah. Flash, yeah, in Flash, yeah, you, yeah, you I know, get I, good pills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I know now, about yeah, that, yeah. Super nice. Yeah, which is also one of the reasons to why I... Why I like playing as him, because I don't have to care about bad pills. I can just yes. pop them whenever. Hell yeah. Uh, Forgotten's pretty fun, I would say. I've changed my opinions on him over the course of like the. This might be an unpopular opinion, but uh, the little I I've played of Forgotten, I just I've hated it. <laughs> it's so I difficult mean, with me. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I I also do not prefer Forgotten as you know as my favorite character. I would not play as him every single day, but you know. I, I, he's really cool, but I, I haven't gotten used to the melee yet, personally. I also don't like the melee, personally. Uh, especially with Tainted Samson. Uh, I still haven't gotten used to that, because I just I just Ooh, take a lot speaking of... Speaking of him, I really have to do Mega Satan to unlock the crane game with Tainted Samson. That looks really nice. Oh, crane I think that's game, the unlock, yeah. right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. As for Tainted characters, uh, Tainted Maggie and Tainted Bethany are my favorite. Oh, yes. Both of those are really cool. Yeah. I I, uh, I sort of dislike regular uh, Bethany. Really? Yeah, I just... Her, like, her wisps are cool, you can have soul charges, whatever. Right. Yeah, I think I should think she's she's all right at least, and her unlocks are, are pretty cool as well. But yeah, it's a bit annoying I, that she doesn't have blue hearts. 
you lose the devil chance so easily. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I guess. But with uh, tainted Bethany, you, you can get, you can like, there's this uh, sort of ing that's looming over you. That yeah, yeah with the lemon get on, you can get like godlike runs or get like completely shit uh, runs. I'm, I'm speaking that... of the the that book. I'm so mad they nerfed it. Why did they nerf it? It was fine. <laughs> yeah. It was so fun to use, and now it's just random instead of the special runes. Oh my god, I... I'm so salty about that. I, I, I think the nerf is actually fine. You, you could get, I, I you think could... it's, yeah, it's fine, but it, it was, it was a lot more fun <laughs> to just go in the secret room and spam until you got this echo chamber or something. Yeah, but, you know, you could, like, get broken runs pretty, yeah. pretty quickly, and that would make yeah. the character too much easy. That's true. And as for attended the Maggie, I just like to be reckless sometimes, I'll be completely harnessed, so the fact that... Uh, I can just run into enemies and actually sort of recover my health during that. I, I think yeah, that's I, very cool. I, I, yeah. I really agree with the Tainted Maggie being one of the more fun characters. Also because, you know, her kit, like, uh, relying off her taking damage almost, uh, makes a lot of shit items into one of the some of the best items in the game for her. Like, Basically, the habit, it's not the best item in the game, but for Maggie, basically, it's an insta-win. And, uh, like, you know, the black bean that makes you fork on touch? That's also a really good item on Maggie. Yeah, yeah. That, that's also why I think she's really fun. She, like, reinvents the game, almost. Yeah. Uh... <coughs> uh... Okay, for... why the fuck did my icon light up when you coughed uh because it maybe maybe the microphones were too loud well loud enough for the microphone to pick it up well that doesn't make sense because the microphone is picking up the microphone no but if the headphones are too i don't have lo- headphones i just have my phone <laughs> Okay, so it makes even more sense because you have a speaker. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the speaker oh, actually fun. the speaker actually makes sound. That's how you fucking hear us shine. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm slower than you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, so my favorite characters, well, for normal, my favorite characters I've been playing a lot of Keeper lately, so he's up there and as I'll always, forgotten. Oh, yeah, Keeper. Then, I forgot to talk I really about have him. to try the Keeper. He looks sort of the fun. Especially Tainted Keeper. Tainted, tainted yeah. keep, Keeper then... looks more fun. But I like normal Keeper more. Because uh, you can get a lot of uh, good angel items uh, from sacrifice rooms. Just, just the fact mm, that... Oh, yeah, true. They yeah. still haven't nerfed that, and it's hilarious that they haven't. Yeah. I think it's fair, though, because the Keeper's really It is difficult. fair. Well, because, but, I mean, maybe they should make it so... Actually, nah, I'm not going to say it, because if, like, somebody sees this video, then they're probably going to say, oh, that should be a thing. I'm going to make sure people see this video. I'm going to spam it in my community tabs. <laughs> oh, I, I would actually, I would actually appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And for tainted characters, I would have to say, um, I would have to say, yeah, uh, tainted Napoleon and tainted Lilith. And okay. as, also, I do have some favorite modded characters, which is Samael and, um, let's see. Samael, Rebecca, and um, Tarnished Maggie. Oh, I have never heard of the modded characters. What do they do? Uh, uh, they, 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 they do stuff. They like shoot tears, and sometimes, sometimes, oh, sometimes and sometimes they are like, you know, uh, fucking uh, have a heart attack. 
like ta tarnished yeah, Maggie. Yeah, they have a hard hard oh. attack. Or uh, the active item is a gun. That's that's actually a quote. That's actually a quote from Rebecca, from the death of Rebecca. I'm not lying there. Uh, oh my god. And sometimes, oh, sometimes, sometimes you just play as a Resident Evil Four character. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, that's actually okay. Let's talk about sure, this. Sure, why not? Yeah. So there's this uh, Isaac mod named Testament Evil that basically adds um, Leon, uh, which comes from Resident what? Evil. <laughs> yeah, and it actually also adds guns and a completely new mechanic at how to attack I mean, enemies into it, the game. Listen, listen, listen. Is it so far-fetched to add guns? Because you basically already have drone strikes in Isaac with epic fetus. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it isn't It isn't as far-fetched. You know, you can have your 25 kill streak and... <laughs> and drop the <laughs> fucking bombs on enemies. But, you know, yeah. I don't think adding guns is that yeah, far fetched. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. What was the mod you were talking about? Uh, Testament Evil. It's not. I actually found it on GitHub. It's not on uh, Steam Workshop. It's actually a unfinished mod for Afterbirth Plus, but still somewhat works in Repentance. The reason. The reason as to why I scrapped the video about that is because the mod is unfinished and half of the things didn't work. Which, fair, it was developed for Afterbirth Plus, not Repentance. Okay, we got the... We got the most extreme hard question you could ever be asked. Are you happy? Go Are you ahead. ready, Hamper? Go ahead. Are you the type of person who spares Baby Plum or kills Baby Plum? I kill that motherfucker! <laughs> you, you fuck! You should, you should be ashamed! Oh, I hate that boss so much, bro. I kill him any day of the week. I put that bomb down instantly when I come into the room. Sh shut the fuck up, you fucking uh -huh. ungrateful fuck! I haven't spared him a single time. In <laughs> have you actually not? Like, have nope. you not gotten the achievement nope. either? Nope. There is an achievement if you don't attack a uh, baby plum that you'll get a new item called the plum flute. It's pretty fucking useless if you have a good active <laughs> item, but it is cool to have. Yeah, you uh, maybe I'll you throw you. It once. Yeah, you actually need to spare baby plumbing in order to get dead guard. So I recommend doing that at least oh, okay. once. Okay. Well, it's gonna be my last achievement then. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yes>. What? It... <coughs> what? <coughs> wow, there will be a lot of cutting in this fucking uh, episode. What is the weirdest? Yeah. What is the weirdest bug? That happened to you in Isaac. The weirdest bug. Uh, let me think. Um, I mean, I haven't. I don't think I've noticed too many bugs, but the, the only one I have uploaded is the tainted Isaac school bug. School bag bug, but. Other than that, I can't really think of any other bug right now. Hmm. You know what? The biggest bug that actually happened to me actually ruined one of my godlike tainted bathing events, okay? Okay. Yeah. Uh so I was so I ha I had a godlike run, okay? I had like tang luck with perfection. I had soy milk, I had holy light, I think that's how the item is called. It basically sends the beams of light. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. So, my DPS was, like, really big. Yes. And, and then... Oh, wait, I just remembered, I just remembered, that it's, I, I don't know if it's a bug, but... Um, if you somehow get to spawn a golden troll bomb in the beast fight... 
it's the funniest shit ever, I swear. When he starts chasing you, it explodes once per frame, the bomb. It was like... Oh yeah, I, like yeah, oh yeah, I've seen that one, yeah. yeah I, 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 think I, have, I may have to test that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that happened to me once. It's the funniest shit ever. Yeah, I, I think that is a bug, yeah. Did it kill yes. it? Did it yeah, kill the like beast quickly? Instantly. Boom, he's dead. <laughs> Ah, oh, God. Okay. Like 60 explosions per second. He just dies instantly. <laughs> like, yeah. no ending animation or anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, on my uh, tainted bathroom game bug. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And suddenly, Lemon Gatong decided to give me mom Mama's knife. Which, like, okay, that is a cool item. That is a cool item on its own. But the problem is, it, uh, it somehow broke my capability of actually being able to shoot. I, I was not That's able awesome. to shoot the fucking knife for some goddamn reason because of some god awful synergy. What the fuck? I don't know. So you, just but... you just had to walk up to shit and stab them? Well, that was basically my only option, but if I did that, then I would lose all of my fucking fifths. And you know, yeah. lose the entire true, true. and lose my entire fucking van. So, <laughs> I can't. Yeah, true. <coughs> so I basically rage quitted and quit the van. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. I actually, there was probably a way to get rid of Mom's knife, but I I, I was just too pissed to think rationally about that. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm the type of person when I get like two shit items in the start, I'm just gonna order run instantly. I can order run when it uh, just starts go going bad. Like I have no problem just restarting instantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I've <laughs> okay. I've noticed your uh status, shied, and so I'm gonna ask a question on this uh, episode. Who is worse, delirium or the bloat? And okay. this is, this is a joke question, by the way. I should mention. Who are you asking? Uh, both of you. Okay, delirium. But... Yeah, of course. it's probably gonna be delirium, but. You're when not going the, with the meme! Come on! When, when the meme! Get, listen, you have to listen, follow listen, the meme! Listen, 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 listen. When you get to delirium, you already have to do at least hush or mega Satan. So you have to have a good run to just to meet him. But you can meet bloat at almost any run at all. So I think the bloat is gonna fuck up more of your runs than delirium. That's my opinion. Yes. Finally, someone understands that the bloat is actually a yes. boy's fucking boss. Yes. Thanks. Thanks for finally agreeing oh. with me. God, oh, I, I, fuck I, I bloat. Have, I Honestly. Have lost, I have lost so many lost runs to the bloat. Holy shit. Actually, actually, fun fact. That there's a mod that makes him able to shoot up votes. Oh my, that must be the worst mod. Yeah. I'm gonna find the person that made that mod. <laughs> but please kill him for me. I, I, yes, I, I, I will I, kill I, him I, in game to not lose YouTube monetization. Oh yeah, of, of course, of course. We have to be uh, kid friendly. I still don't. I still. I still don't have uh, monetization since I know. Yeah, have you get. You get that at uh, one thousand subscribers. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but I'm not at that point now. Soon you are, my dude. Uh, I don't think it's going to be soon. Uh, I think it's going to be at least a one year grind before I actually get to that. But you know, I'll get. <laughs> I'll get that soon enough, and YouTube won't care about this conversation about uh, fu <laughs> about fucking monsters in a game or you know killing people True. or some shit. True. Because one, it will be a one year old video, and two, it's already an hour in into the video. So who the True. fuck, who, who the who the fuck will look for this conversation? Honestly, <laughs> yes. 
Anyway, uh, that's the end of this podcast uh, of this episode. Uh, if you if you liked it, uh, please subscribe for more. Down below, you can join my Discord server. Down below, you can also check out this this fucking Swedish idiot and and that and that American fat cunt. And uh, hey, I'm not fat. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, uh, thanks yeah. for having me, guys. Yeah, that's all. Uh, you can now fuck off.